A great Sunday afternoon for baseball here, north of the border at the Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. The Rays will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Ryan Burrow. Rucky gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely the needs to base start base. pitching a lot Joey. better than he has up to this Wendell. point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. This one's flared out toward left. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Got it, second. If that's the any indication, I think five. we're going to see some aggressive Bat. at bats in this one. Tough. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board right out of the blocks. Digging in, Matt Duffy, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders, and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. And Dan Dero, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Hey, thanks, Matty. You know what, Dero? Nothing you'd like more than to win this one here. They've got a long roadie coming up. And they'd like to win this one to get themselves on an airplane onto a long road trip on a positive note. And you know this, Dan, as well as I do. Ten game road trip, a lot of packing involved the night before this one. They're going to have to find a way to stay focused win this ball game and get on a happy flight and here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays thoughts Dan who stands out yeah I'm pretty excited to watch Kevin Kiermeyer. he's having a monster season and I'm sure you already know about it he's already in the record setting territory up over 70 home runs for the season I hope he hits one today pretty good chance he will first offering on its way driven nicely into the gap and this will get all the way out toward the 375 sign now. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple, and they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit here. Here now is Mike Zanino. High in the air down the right field line. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark, does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So no one on now after the sack fly and standing in is the D.H. Daniel Robertson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard liner to center field. Pilar will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So they get a couple of runs on two hits. No errors. And
no one left aboard. Chaz Rowe, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's Fort nothing Toronto. he'd like to do more to than to get field. number two Get in this there. one here. Now at the plate, Kevin Pillar. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. With that, second. let's take a look at the, the Blue Jays starting game. lineup. Dan, who yeah, do we man. keep an eye on? Well, this team what really man. needs that 6-0 hitter to step up a bit. I thought they might get a lot more production out of him this year, but I look at the numbers with runners in scoring position, and his batting average is less than 250 in those spots. If you're a guy expected to drive in runs, you're going to have to hit a lot better than that. Stepping into the box, Devin Travis. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled away. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. One out, nobody on. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Devin Travis. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. The 1 2 is swung on and missed, strike three. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Brandon Drury will bat next. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. From the stretch. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Now, time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Here he comes again, 1-2. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. Back to Rogers Center following this break. Coming to the plate now, Guillermo Heredia. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Well, it's been a lopsided series so far with the Rays dominating to this point and taking aim at a series sweep here in this contest. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club of good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. This will kick up against the wall now. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league that, leaders that, in triples. That, and as you can see there, he currently sits seven. third in the AL Kiermaier. in that category. Now with the play, Kevin Kiermeyer. 
as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. He's set and the pitch. Line drive to center field. Base hit and that'll get a run in. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come Gotta up there looking to hit right off the get go. Up. First pitch really? comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. In now, Willie Adamas. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Takes this the other way to right. Richard is there, and he has it for the out. All right, guys, here's a defensive that alignment enough. for the Toronto Blue the Jays today. Baseman. And the spotlight Man. today is going to be on Teoscar Hernandez, left fielder. This guy is a great athlete, gets really good jumps on the ball, but people, his calling card's in the batter's box. He can go deep in a hurry. First pitch coming, here it is. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, now Joey Wendell. Second. He'll try to follow up Joey. the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, right. let him run, get you a ribby. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. The 0 1 pitch. Line drive to left. Hernandez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Couple of hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. We'll go to the bottom half of. Venning number two. 